Bit ten minute game. Let's see what we've got here. Let's um bring the knight out, supporting the pawn. And okay, we don't mind doubling the pawns. Okay, they're not going for that, so let's just develop the bishop. Supporting the knight. Let's take. And they're going to be pushing onto the knight anyway. Shall we hit the bishop? Small piece attacking a higher piece. And again, just giving them something to think about. They're chomping at the bit to get this um, pawn down. Let's get this knight ready for potential castling. Let's get the bishop out, ready for the castling. King safety. They're moving quick like they've got it sewn up. Let's just bring our rook facing their rook. So they're looking to champion here, but now they've changed their mind. Do we win a bit of tempo with them doing these small moves? I end up doing this, don't I? But as always, I say I never get the opportunity. I don't like for you and Chet to win, but in this type of scenario, it gets the bishop doing something if we get the time to do it. And we're going to bring the bishop here. So a very slow opening at the minute. It's blocked their queen for a brief moment. It's got two pieces defending that pawn. It's got two pieces defending this pawn. And is there anything else that we can squeeze in? We could attack this pawn. Something to do rather than jostling my knight around and... We may as well just try and find something to attack it. Let's go for that. And let's take the rook off the board. So they've got the bishop protecting the pawn here. Could go for the queen exchange. They're probably not going to do that. Because their bishop's a little bit jammed in. So their rook is going to come in place. And they're changing their mind now. So what can they do? Maybe bring this bishop here. Start attacking. This bishop's jammed in. It's not not really comfortable there. But it's given us something to think about. Let's take. Where can our knight go? Can go and attack the bishop. It's not fully jammed in. Can move here. It's advancing the pawn. A bit at a time. We do have a bishop x-raying through to the queen. So that could be something. So they took their time over that move. They've brought the knight into the game. This pawn has got two pieces protecting. This has got, it's got three pieces protecting rather. We've got three pieces attacking. So we would lose out if we did do that. But I'm just going to take the bishop off the board, which gives us two pieces attacking. They've got two pieces defending still. Phew. So we can block the pawn by just bringing the bishop here, or we can x-ray through to their bishop. I'm just gonna block the pawn. There's simple potatoes. Their knight's obviously going to come here to attack the bishop. We've got protection for the bishop anyway. Let's stay protecting our pawn. So there's no issues here. This pawn is protected by the queen and this pawn is protected by the queen. So a lot of pressure for our queen. Could bring the bishop here. Could bring the bishop here. And they've got two pieces protecting, but one of them is a lesser piece. So you'd think the rook really wouldn't take. Maybe they're going to go for the rook for two, the bishop and the knight. Could do that. Yeah, I think they'll do that. Let's attack the queen. So it'll be knight and bishop for the rook no he's not doing that so we can take with our rook but then he takes our rook and he's not on our queen i don't think there's a checkmate is there because we can take the queen here they've proposed the take back but we're not doing take backs today take your time find appropriate positions looks like their light's gone looks like they're leaving the game that felt fairly smooth. I like smooth games like that where it's not easy. There's no guarantees of any wins in any way, shape. We were probably losing. Let's have a look at the analysis on that.
because you can never tell in the game. It feels good, it felt good, the exchanges felt nice. Just, just quickly flick through, don't want to labour. Yeah, so they still got advantage there, it's plus one for them. Castling, yeah, they're still winning, plus one, 1.5, plus two now, yeah. So no great shakes whatsoever, but we felt confident with the movements that we were making. And that's the whole idea, really. You have to feel confident about what you're doing. So all the way through this, it, the opponent is advantageous. It's not, the gauge bar hasn't moved past their half. Yeah, so grab, grab, grabbed. So they're still looking good until they do this knight move here, which is a little bit odd. I think we might have mentioned that. So we grab the bishop and we've got the nice stealth bishop like we mentioned before all of that kicked off. And doesn't like this bishop move, it's not a fan of it at all, it's like plus four. So they move the knight down and we take with the bishop and then they take with the knight. I mean obviously the queen should have moved or something should have moved but yeah, we can take the queen and we get an advantage. These things happen in chess.